Last Sunday, I went down to PWL Studios, Pete Waterman Studios in London, because Do They Know It's Christmas, the band Day song, has been released once again, this time with some new faces. So we went down to find out how it was made and what was going on. Well, it's now uh, about half past five on a Sunday, and we're outside the PWL Studios. What I didn't realise, that the biggest nightmare of all, not getting in touch with the people who are singing on the song, is actually finding the PWL studios, which are tucked away like you wouldn't believe. If you look at the melee here, uh, more reporters than I've ever seen before, more cameras than I've ever seen before, round the corners, more fans than I've ever seen before. Uh, the guys have just...
Band-Aid mm -hmm. happening once again. Uh, you'll have to keep an eye on the charts tomorrow to see how it's done. And, of course, it's all for an incredibly good cause. So uh, dip your hand in your pocket and go and buy the record. Yes. In fact, buy lots of records. Buy yes. lots of records and give them to people give them to, presents. Give them to your friends as Christmas presents. That's the best thing. The atmosphere there looked extraordinary. It was amazing. It really was. Um, it, I, I, don't, I didn't go to the first one. Obviously, I don't know what it was like mm. at the first one. But, but that was a, a fabulous effort. And as Wet, Wet Wet said, you know, a lot of people sort of bit their lip. I mean, Wet 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 at PWL, they wouldn't normally go in there. That's right. That's right. You forget all those things and just go for it, mm. which is good. Well, meanwhile, back at the Going Live studio, unfortunately, the bosses are still looking over us very carefully. Dennis Dolly and Kenneth. Yeah, yeah, Dolly yes. yeah. Fancy a biscuit, Dennis? Oh, thank you, Kenneth. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Oh, it's all going very well anyway, yes. isn't it? Hey, enjoy the pop. Curiosity killed the cat. Did they? Well, we won't have them on again then, will we? And the pony. They killed that as well. No, I'm saying the pony was good. The pony that was on with, uh, what's his name? The fellow who looks after them. Nigel, um, Nigel. Kennedy, look out, Gordon. No, no, oh. no, the man who looks after the ponies, Nigel. Taylor. Well, I thought he was a vet. Did you? I thought he was a camera operator. Oh, so, uh, it's all very good. Oh, very good. Those other two are good as well. Hmm? What are they called? The rubbers. Hmm? The rubbers. Erasers. Erasers. Yes, yes, yes very, very good. good. Jolly and good. Of course, young Smiley. Huh? She's got a new film out. Smiley Kylie. Yes. Yeah. What's the film? The, deli the, the, the delicatessen. That's right. Her and a boyfriend work in a delicatessen, and they fall in love with a cake. Oh, you yes, <laughs> can't very keep up good. with it all, can you? No, no, no. What's no. on next? Anyway, huh? I don't know. Susan. Hey, is he on? What's on next? What the beggars on next? Mm, hey. Nice tea. Yeah. Hi, I'm going to start today with that excellent band Transvision Vamp. They've got a very new fan club and it's called The Vamp Club. From Elvis Presley to Marilyn, Cassius Clay to Billy the Kid. It's run in close contact with the band themselves and will cost you £7.50 a year. For that, they will send you four issues of The Vamp Club magazine, a biography, a discography, photo, badge and some stickers. The magazine covers past and present news, gossip, photos, competitions and song lyrics. In fact, loads of stuff. If you want more information, write to The Vamp Club, PO Box 48, London N6 5RU. And apparently, Wendy James would choose Robert De Niro to be stranded on a desert island. Gonna make a feel good. Gonna make a feel good. Stefan Dennis was on the first going live of the series and we received sackfuls of mail for him. He does in fact have a fan club and it will cost you £7.95 to be a member. For that you will receive a colour photo, a signed black and white photo, a membership certificate, an ID card, a news sheet, a fact file and a birthday card. And each month, one lucky fan will actually get a phone call from Stefan himself. The club also sends out a regular newsletter to keep you up to date, and exclusive merchandise is also available. The club hasn't been running for long, but they've certainly got the right idea. If you'd like more information, the address is...